welcome back to my channel. I am the Honey Bat, if this is your first time finding me. Today we have more of the Disney Dorables from Series 1. I absolutely love these collections, and I'm really excited to be opening up these packs with you. These are the multi-peak boxes, so there could be five, six, or seven characters inside, and we are ready to go ahead and get started. We're gonna start with this one right here. I've already removed the plastic, so we're just gonna take off that piece there and go ahead and open up the big door. Sometimes these open nicely for me and sometimes they don't. And it looks like this one did. We have five boxes inside this one, so we're just gonna go ahead and take them out. And we're gonna take a quick look here at our checklist. We have characters from Mickey and Friends, Tangled, Lilo and Stitch, Moana, Beauty and the Beast, Zootopia, Peter Pan, some limited edition characters that we can find. Winnie the Pooh, Monsters Incorporated, Alice in Wonderland, Pinocchio, Frozen, and of course here is our little rarity chart on the side. They go from common to rare, ultra rare, limited edition, and special edition. Hopefully we can find some of those today. I think we're gonna kick off today's video by opening the big door first. So we're gonna go ahead and just pull this open. Inside we find our blind bag, and there's always a little stand inside the biggest door. This will help some of our more top-heavy characters stand up on their own. Sometimes the bags rip and sometimes they don't, so in this case we're going to go ahead and use our snippers and see who our very first character is going to be, and actually I didn't cut it far enough. Let's try that again. So our first character is going to be Mrs. Potts from Beauty and the Beast. She is a common figure. I believe that we found her in our last Dorables video, and I commented how much her spout looks very strange smashed into her body, but the little handle does stick out, so technically we could still pour some tea. She has a lot of little details, just like she does in the movie, and she is really cute. We're gonna go to this little door next. It's gonna open up this way. So we're gonna take out our blind bag, and without bothering to fight with if it's going to open or not, we're just gonna go ahead and cut it open. And our second little figure is a little dark figure in there. And we have found one of the Frozen characters. So here's Oaken. He, of course, has the little sauna in the store in the movie. He looks very surprised in his little figure. I love his bright orange hair. He is actually a rare find, which is really cool. He's not one that I've seen in any other toy lines, so I'm happy that we can have him. Hello, family! On to door number three. We're just going to go ahead and take out our blind bag, and I'm not having much luck with ripping them open. We might just have to use scissors for the whole video. So snip, snip, snip right across the top, being careful not to cut ourselves or our figures. We have somebody brown in there. And this looks like one of Merida's little brothers, but I don't think we have Brave in this collection. So I really was getting a Brave vibe, even though the boys were never half boy and half bear. Looking at the checklist, the closest one that I find here is Lost Boy Cubby, but he doesn't have the little club in his hand like he does on the checklist. I'm gonna go ahead and assume that that's him. He's of course a common from the Peter Pan collection. I don't think I have seen any of the Peter Pan characters yet, so I'm really excited to have found that one. Here we have another one. This one feels pretty big inside there. Oh, it's fuzzy! This is going to be one of the special editions. We finally found the little Pooh Bear. He, of course, has his little pot of honey there, and there is a little bee there on his head who is fuzzy as well. And I really like the flocking, which is the furry stuff. It doesn't come off like the glitter has in past series. And our last door for this particular case is... Wait a second, that's... That's not a blind bag. I mean, it has a blind bag. There's like a little extra door in here. So we found an extra one, that is awesome. I thought if you found an extra figure, it would be like another door, like one of the big cardboard doors, so I thought we only had five. We're gonna go ahead and set this aside for just a second, go ahead and open up the regular blind bag. Not that there's anything wrong with it being a regular one. You go ahead and cut that open. Oh, we got the little fish! 
I believe her name is Cleo. So this is our second little Pinocchio figure. This is of course Cleo the goldfish. I really like all of the detail that went into her. She is a common figure and if you hold her like this, she kind of looks like a leaf. So that is really cool. Now we're going to go on to our mystery little bonus door. I just kind of want to show off how pretty the packaging is on this. Like that sparkly pink is amazing. I'm going to go ahead and open up our door here. So there's nothing else inside. Doesn't look like it. And we have a little bonus blind bag. I'm going to see who's inside there. We have somebody glittery. This is going to be Stitch. But this is the ultra rare stitch where he's smiling and sitting and doesn't have his little alien costume on. He is really glittery and yes, the glitter on these does shed. You guys can kind of see there. But look at his little face. He's so glittery and sparkly. He might be my favorite one that I've seen yet from the glitter ones because the glitter doesn't distract from the detail that's on him. He's even got a cute little nose. I'm gonna boop that little snoot. So here is a quick look at the ones that we found in that pack. We even found a bonus figure, so we got six this time. And now we're ready to open up another one of the packs. What an awesome way that was to start off this video. I don't even care that we found an ultra rare character. I was just really excited that we got a bonus one. So we're gonna go ahead and open up this one next. And we have our typical five doors. We're gonna go ahead and take those out just like last time. And we're gonna start with the big door. So here we go, here's our blind bag. Our little stand. Ooh, this one actually ripped open nicely. So we have some feet. We have a little Geppetto figure. He is, of course, Pinocchio's father, and he is a common figure. So there he is with his paintbrush. We also found him in the last video, but this time I don't see the same little defects that I did last time. So I think that this one is a better painted figure. I love his little sweater. He looks very cozy. We're gonna go ahead and go to this little door next. Here we have our blind bag. We'll see if this one wants to rip nicely. Not even a little bit. So thank goodness we have our handy dandy little snippers close at hand. We're gonna see our second little figure here. And this is going to be Wardrobe from Beauty and the Beast. She is, of course, a common figure. She has the detail of the doors there on the front of her, as well as the gold around the top of her head. Bright, shiny blue and silver holographic eyes. No detail on the back. And I guess this is the Beauty and the Beast assistance video, although I would love to find a Lumiere or a little Cogsworth, too. We're now on to door number three. So we're gonna go ahead and take out this blind bag. And without bothering to fight with the packaging, we are just gonna go ahead and cut it open and see our newest little figure. It looks like we have somebody blue in there. Oh, look at that cute little face. This is Caterpillar from Alice in Wonderland. It is a rare figure. And my favorite thing about this one is how purple and beautiful those eyes are. They almost match my nail polish, but it's a little bit more purple than that. There's very little detail on the back other than his feet being painted, but his front is super cute. It even has his little Caterpillar arms crossed there in the front. I will never understand how they can get so much detail into these little tiny figures. We have another blind bag here, and this one feels like it's gonna be a really big one. So we're gonna push it up from the bottom. And there's a reason that it was so big. We have a fuzzy little Eeyore. He is a special edition from the Little Winnie the Pooh collections. And he, of course, has his sad little face there with his little mane thing running down at the back. I'm trying to look for his tail detail, and it's very, very hard to see on camera, but it is right over here, including the little pink bow. Even though Eeyore may be sad, I love that his friends invite him out anyway. He's just such a sweet little donkey. And the last door for this particular box is going to be this one right here. I'm going to pull out our little blind bag. Chop the side off. And our final character for this one is going to be Little Miss Judy Hopps. 
This, of course, is Judy Hopps as a farmer. It's a common figure from the Zootopia launch, and I really love the little purple line in her eye. It is pretty hard to see on camera, but in person it is like a really, really vibrant lavender color. She has on a little pastel pink shirt and little blue jeans. Her ears, of course, are tucked into her hat, and I believe that she can stand up all by herself. Here's a look at our five new characters, and we are ready to open up our final box for today's video. Here we are with our very final pack to open today. I think in this one I would really like to see either Anna and Elsa or the Blue Fairy, and wait a second, we have six doors in this one. Like six different doors. So this is the first time I've seen this particular configuration. We're gonna go ahead and pull all of them out. And I think we're just gonna start right here with this one. The last time we got six doors, we had the same little five door configuration with a little bonus door. So this one is really exciting too. We're gonna go ahead and just chop these ones open and see who our very first character is going to be. This is the Heffalump from the Winnie the Pooh characters. He is fuzzy just like the other ones, so he's a special addition. I love his little ears. He's even got his little elephant trunk there, and the eyes are so shimmery and shiny. They really do catch the light in person so much better than on camera. We're going to open this door up next and see what we can find inside. We're going to take our snip, snip right across the top. And we have somebody green inside. This is going to be a little Mike Wazowski. And on the checklist, he is called Mike Hard Hat. So there must be another Mike Wazowski somewhere they had to differentiate from. He's holding his little clipboard off to the side there, and he's giving what looks like a thumbs up. And one of his little horns is sticking out of his hat. I love the little smile that he's giving, as well as the blue detail there in his eyes. The back is pretty basic, but he's a pretty basic figure, all things considered. But they did take the time to paint the tips of his little toenails white, which I thought was really cool. We are on to door number three in this final box. Here's our blind bag. Here's our snippers. And here is the very first peek at our figure. It looks like we got some Donald Duck feet. And that is because we have found Donald Duck. He is from the Mickey and Friends, and he is a rare find, so he's a little bit harder to find than Goofy and Daisy are. Look at his cute little hat. I really hope that they launch a Huey, Dewey, and Louie version, because I would love to have Donald Duck and all three of his nephews. His big duck feet make it easy for him to stand up all by himself, so that's an extra little bonus. And the bill on him sticks out, which is another great detail. We have three doors left. We're going to go ahead and open up this one next. Come on, an Anna or an Elsa. We have some flowers, so I think this might be Lilo's grandmother. I meant Moana. This is Grandma Tala from Moana, not Lilo and Stitch. She has a little flower in her hair, eyelash details. They even added her little earrings there, her walking stick, and of course all the detail that goes into the back of her hair. She is a common figure, and I'm really glad because this is one that I definitely wanted to add to my collection. We're going to go ahead and open up this door next. Our blind bag is pushed all the way in there. We're going to snip the side of that one off. And we have, oh, we're going to have Scrump! This one is actually from Lilo and Stitch. We have one shiny yellow eye and one shiny blue eye. And instead of having black pupils, that's what the little silver dots are in there. The stitching detail shows up really nicely on camera, as well as the little bits of yarn hair up here at the top. There's no detail on the back, but that's okay because in real life, Scrump doesn't either. And this is a common figure. I'm not going to lie, I cannot wait to find the little alien stitch. I think they're going to look really cute together. And this is our very last door. Now I noticed on this box that it actually has little windows you can open. And I think that that's a really cute detail too. But we're going to go ahead and just open it up from the front. And we're going to pop up our last character. we got some feet. And we have Maurice from Beauty and the Beast, and he is a common figure. He has his little inventor's goggles there on the top of his head. His
his little apron, his mustache, he actually looks a lot like Pinocchio's father whenever you think about it. And I really like that his hair is true to the movie and those little spikes. I have yet to open a multi-pack that I am not completely thrilled with. This one had six characters as well, but in a little bit different way than the other one did. Here's one final look at all of the characters that we found in today's video. We found so many new characters, so many amazing characters, that it's really hard for me to choose favorites. But I think I'm going to go ahead and go right here with Grandma Tala. She's just such a well-done figure, and if I got to pick two, Cleo would definitely be my second. I just love the little fins that she has. And she's not a character that we get to see very much in toys. Don't forget to leave me your favorites down in the comments below, and while you're down there, hit that like and subscribe button if you have not already. It helps more people find my channel just like you did and tells YouTube that my content is worth promoting. So thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. And until next time, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you later. Bye for now.